Hey guys, how's it going? Today, in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to make your very own 3D printable figurine of yourself or whoever you have a picture of. So, let's get started. All right guys, the first thing we are going to do is get a picture of yourself or someone to make a figurine of. I'm gonna just make a quick figurine of Messi, the best soccer player in the history of the world. So I'm gonna download this picture of Messi. You can use a picture of yourself or whoever you want. And then we're gonna go to makerlab.com. You can either just go to Maker World, which is a website that has a bunch of 3D files on it, and come over here to Maker Lab, or just search Maker Lab, and it should be this one right here. Well, however you get to it doesn't matter, but once you are here, we are going to come to Print You. It'll be up here, or it will just be come to Single Color Prints, and you'll find it right here, Print You. And then we'll come here, we'll select New Project, and then we'll upload our photo right here. So there's my picture of Messi. And then we're gonna choose the style we want. So cartoon style is gonna look like this. Chibli is gonna look like that. Emoji is gonna look like that. And the bobblehead is gonna look like this. So I wanna do a cartoon, more realistic style. And I want to do the pose he's in in the image. So then what it's going to do is generate me a 2D image of Messi. It's going to load and it's going to do that. It's going to take about two minutes. So once this is done, I will show you guys what it looks like. Hey guys, real quick. If you're watching this video, you probably do a lot of 3D printing. If that's you, I'd greatly consider Coax 3D Filament. It's made right here in the USA, prints clean and stays consistent spool after spool. They even offer a 100% satisfaction guarantee, so there's zero risk. So use Austin's Lab for 10% off Coax 3D Filament. But now, back to the video. All right, here is that generated picture of Messi and the pose he is in in the picture. It even has the colors and does a good job in preserving everything else along with even the Nike Swish. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit generate model and it's gonna generate that model for us. It's gonna take about two minutes again. Once this is finished, I'll show you guys what we ended up with. All right guys, and here is that finished 3D model. So it says here, add your touch to your figurine. In the 3D editor, you can customize your model with a base, nameplates, and personal colors and poses. So we can just do export right now and export that figurine as is right there as STL blank file if we want, or with colors or the full colors, or we can come here and click edit, and then it will do, hey, we need to use some credits to do this. Do confirm if you want to use 10 credits to edit this and export it. But from there, we can choose the color type. We can use, choose the posture we, we want him in, or you in, or whoever this figurine is of. Once it loads, So once it loads, so once it actually loads, we can see that we can just click any posture and it will put our guy in that pose. Then we can choose a base if we want and throw a base on him and choose what kind of color we want it and if we want a sign on the base and then what we want the sign to say and then what kind of font we want the sign to be in and if we want to print separately or not and then we can even transform him if we're not happy with how he looks or move him or rotate him or make him bigger 
But once you're happy with how he looks, what you can do is come up here to export, choose your printer type. If you don't have a Bamboo Labs printer, then this does not matter. Hit confirm. It'll export him. Whenever it's done loading, it'll give us the option to export him as an STL with no color, a 3MF with some colors, or a GLB file with colors. So once it's done loading, I will be able to show you guys that. Here is what that looks like once it is loaded. And also if you share this or you use it commercially, you will have to use this link right here to give credit to Maker World's Maker Lab. But anyways, you can come here and download the 2C concept of just the picture if you want, or your actual STO, GOB, or TMF files. So we're gonna click STL right now because we don't have a multicolored printer yet. It'll put it in this zip and then we can unzip it off screen. Actually, I'll do it on screen just to show you guys. Extract all, extract, and then there is our base and there's our figurine. And then we'll open this thing up and I'll show you that this is indeed now a printable file. And we can go ahead and print off and then paint this figurine. And there Messi is in all his glory. The goat, literally the goat. But hit slice plate, print that thing off and paint it. Or if you have a multicolored printer and you're lucky like that, print off the 3MF file and print this thing out colored. All right, guys, with all that being said, that is it for this video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it and learned something new and learned how to turn yourself or anybody you have a picture of into a 3D printable figurine. So I thought this was pretty cool when I learned how to do it, so I thought I'd just share it with you guys. So again, I hope you learned something new, and I hope you guys have a good one, and we'll see you in the next one. And real quick guys, if you like this video, then check out this video from me where I show you how to turn any logo into a 3D printable file. So again guys, that's it for this video, for real this time. Thanks for watching, and have a good one.